guys. It's almost January and President Obama has been elected again. And you know what that means? America will let a black man lead for eight years before we'll have a black shopping mall Santa. You know what I mean? I thought by now we would have a black guy that could be Santa Claus in the shopping mall. But it'll never happen. I don't know what people are scared of. I don't know if they think the black Santa will be unprofessional. Like, ho, 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 little girl, what the hell you want for Christmas? <laughs> Sit on Santa lap and tell him everything you want to tell him. No, no, black men will be professional Santa Claus. I mean, he's not even a real character. So he could be Chinese, he could be Mexican, whatever you want to be. I think uh, before we have a, a black shopping mall Santa Claus, we'll have an illegal immigrant as president. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like, uh, President Gutierrez, what do you think of the uh, fiscal cliff? Well, he's, he's no good. I don't like it. the fiscal cliff, no good. You know, I, I think we do better than this. Uh, President Gutierrez, what do you think of the uh, foreign policies of America? He's no good. I don't, I think we can do better than this. I don't know, I think that uh, America is doing a lot better because uh, two states just legalized marijuana for everybody. Yeah. Round of applause. <laughs> and you know, this is a free country. You know, you should, if you want to be an adult, you know, indulge in marijuana. I mean, you just should. Some people are like, you should not do that because marijuana is silly. Well, you know what else is silly? Chin strap dildos. <laughs> Chin strap dildos are so silly. Danielle, aren't chin strap uh, dildos silly? Aren't they? Aren't they silly? Hey, what, what's your guy's name next to you? Chris. Chris, how long you guys been dating? Four years. Four years. Oh, okay, so now look, if at some point your guys' relationship gets a little dull and you find yourself at the lion's den <laughs> and Danielle's like, hmm, well, look at this. This is a chin strap dildo. That's a cute. All right, Chris, that's a cue for you, man. Purchase it. Be a man and purchase it, all right? You're at home, you got it trapped to his chin. Go to work, brother, all right? Go to work. All right, do your thing. All right, and also, Chris, were you aware that while you're dating Danielle, no other woman is supposed to be attracted to you? Did you know that? I didn't know this, guys. I, every guy has found himself in this situation. You've been with Danielle, you've been like, all right, Chris, don't look, don't look, don't look, fuck it. <laughs> and then you look, right, and you catch hell for it. And you know, the thing about women is this. If a guy's checking Danielle out, he's admiring her beauty. He's just admiring her. If you're checking some other one out, you're an asshole. You know what I mean? What happened to you just admiring somebody? You know what I mean? What happened to that? I don't know. But guys, you know, I um, want to be a comedian because of one thing. I filled out an application not too long ago. It was an application to PetSmart. <laughs> now, this application was like two hours long, number one. It was a two hour application to sell dog food. Something is wrong with that. <laughs> they actually had a question on there. It was like, you know, if a train is traveling at 40 miles an hour and there are two people, I'm like, what? This is physics. I'm, I just wanna, I just wanna squeeze a dog's anal glands. That's all I wanna do. <laughs> Hell, I don't wanna build a bomb. You know what I mean? I just wanna clip dog toenails. You know, but I don't know, man. It's, it's just weird. Um, gay marriage is another thing that uh, I always talk about. I like to talk about silly stuff. I, I always talk about chin strap dildos and gay marriage. I'm not quite sure why that is. It's odd combination. But kind of related. Yeah, they are kind of related. They are if you think about it. <laughs> but the, uh, the thing about gay marriage, look, all straight dudes out there, we should be pro-gay marriage. You don't want gay dudes out there being single because if you think about it, gay dudes are perfect for women. You know what I mean? What if they decide to marry women? You know, what if you're a woman, sir, she wants to go out salsa dancing? You don't want a salsa dance, but guess who wants a salsa dance? A gay dude? You know what I mean? If she asks you how her ass looks in these pants, guess what? You're gonna lie to her. But guess who's gonna tell her the truth? A gay dude? You know what I mean? If she asks you to make her some quiche or some baba ganoush, you don't know what the fuck she's talking about. But guess who does? A gay dude. 
Every straight dude out here likes threesomes too, or dreams of threesomes. But guess what? Your girl's not down for him. But guess what? She's down for a threesome for a gay dude because there's another dude involved in that one. You know what I mean? So, so we, as straight men, have to be behind gay marriage because eventually gay dudes is just going to start marrying straight women just for the hell of it. So, you know what I mean? Let's be behind it. Let's support it. Let's support America for what it is. This is a free country, you know? Um, I've got a brother. He's really anti-gay marriage. He's like, man, you know what? I don't believe that gays should get married, man. That's wrong. Now I'm finna sit here and watch football. Bunch of muscular men running down the field, chasing each other as they all pile up atop one another in a pile of muscle, cologne, and tight clothing as they all wrestle over the one thing that is involved in all heterosexual sport, balls. <laughs> Come on, I mean, are balls the only thing that can be involved in sports? Can't we do something with a, a, a tetrahedron or some other shape? I mean, you know, I'm not good at geometry, but you know, come on. I don't know, man. Uh, another thing that I, I think about is, is the fact that I wish I paid a little more attention in school because there's nothing worse than a kid asking you for help for homework and you don't know what the hell he's talking about. You know what I mean? Has anybody, you know, somebody was like, hey, hey man, can you uh, help me with this math problem? No, no, I, I cannot, I can't help you with that. I'm sorry, I don't, is that math or is it a spelling? I don't know, it's a lot of letters involved. You better Google that shit. I thank God for Google, I'm serious, man. You know, um, me needing to know calculus is like me needing to know how to shop for a comfortable bra. I mean, I could do it, but why? You know what I mean, why? All right, guys, that is my time. My name is Lamar Maillard. You can follow me at lamarmaillard.com. You can check my website out, www.lamarmaillard.com. You can buy stuff through Amazon. I get paid for it, you know what I mean? Check my website out, it's interesting. Something else, guys, before I get out of here, I want you guys who are professionals or who sell stuff to check out lighthousecolorprint.com. If you need business cards, if you need a professional email, check it out. You know, there's nothing worse than somebody giving you a, a stupid email name. Like, hey, Lamar, man, here, email me here and we'll talk later. Okay, I'll email you at sexyleroy69gmail.com. All right, I will do that, uh, Pastor Dan. Thank you. I uh, appreciate it. And, and women are the worst when it comes to silly email names. Like, here you go, just email me here at suddenlysusandoubledees at hotmail.com. Like, okay, so now how often can you tutor my son a week now? This is two days a week, suddenly Susan Double D's at Hotmail.com. So stop being silly. Check out LighthouseColorPrint.com for all your business needs. All right, guys, I appreciate it. <laughs>